So, what's up today? Well, let's do our Trident Maples. Uh, most of these are fairly mature. Uh, there's a wide assortment, single one, and a, a grove, things like that. So, we'll go ahead and get started with our before and after series. Trident Maples, like all the other deciduous, have come out of dormancy. Well, what happens is right after it comes out, it comes back with a lot of vigor because of the time it had time to rest. And what happens is that all these things just shoot out and quite vigorous, plus a lot of times they're kind of on the large side. So what we need to do is to cut these back. Now, um, I think we talked about it before, but like trident maple and a lot of the trees that we make into bonsai with this shape wants to be this. So we have to cut the top part a little bit heavier to make it fit our image rather than the natural growth habit. So I'm just gonna go through and cut like that. So the, the lower part, it should be wide, so you cut some, but the top, you have to cut heavier and uh, thin it out at the same time too, or else you'll lose the taper, tame the top, and kind of get wider the body and get rid of all that vigorous growth. Okay, this is the grove and Really taking care of the top is very important on a grove because if they turn into a canopy style that it wants to become, you end up losing your taper. It's quite difficult to maintain the taper in the first place, but when you let the top go heavy, then it'll get to that ruined shape faster. So as you look at what I'm doing, the top looks over pruned compared to the bottom. Now that's okay. That's what you do to train and maintain trees for a growth. So down here, long is okay. Up here, you really got to address the hay. This one is more or less in the canopy style. So basically, actually this is probably an easier one because this is the form they wanted to take in the first place. So, this is kind of the, the before shot. I'll go ahead and finish these up and get back to you and show you what the finish or the after looks like. Hey, now the exciting part, the after. Well, you know, this tree kind of reminds me of the trees I saw in Hawaii. Definitely are oak trees around here that we normally associate with the canopy do not grow like this. So, you know, as I have time, I go traveling and that's what I'm looking for. I'm no longer visiting bonsai nurseries. I don't need to do that. I need to see nature and how different parts of the country 
uh, produces different looks. So the canopy in Hawaii was wide and they had all these interesting roots. Actually, they were coming down from here, but I, I couldn't do that. So, I, so it's about the expression of what you saw. And to me, this kind of represents Hawaii. Well, this is the grove. Maintaining a grove with a perfect uh, taper is really difficult. This one is still okay. There's a few spots where I'm gonna have to do something to make sure that it doesn't get out of hand. But all in all, this is looking pretty good. This one that is big and thick at the bottom. Uh, kept it real short. Um, I'm almost tempted to cut this part off and make it really short. But I stopped there for now. Well, as I get older, you know, I like, well, in my younger days, I really liked big trees. Well, big trees are heavy. So now I'm thinking big thick trunks that's short. So anyway, yeah, you may see this in the future with the apex over here with a big trunk like that and put it in a smaller container. But for now, this is, hey, this is the last of this batch. I'm having some problems with visualizing the apex right here. It's kind of, kind of jumbled up. Uh, I might have to make some major changes, but at this point, nothing was strong enough. So what I may do with this one is to let it grow and then see if I could recreate an apex. Those are the things that are constantly happening when you do bonsai. Changes. Sometimes, you know, you, you look at it and say, hey, this looks good. And then you go back a year, two years later and says, what was I thinking? This is our last look at this grouping of trident maples. Um, hopefully, the after looks better than the before. But... Um, some of these will require some extra work in the future. So anyway, this is Hiro saying goodbye, and I will see you again real soon in another chapter.